At 5.06 a.m. Uh, is liftoff time for the lunar module. Uh, area in space will be launching its Area oh, 5 oh, ES oh, rock with oh, four geez. Galileo navigation satellites for the European Union. Uh, oh, we can provide goodness. color commentary if we wish, or we can just enjoy watching no, this. Let, let's watch. Where are they launching is from? This live? The, e uh, the European yes. Space Agency launches from South Pacific somewhere? I don't Wait, know. Wait. It's one of the old French colonies. Did Yana? you, did you say they're launching the lunar module? They're launching four Galileo satellites. Ooh, oh, neat. Wow. Nice. This is uh, French Guiana. Okay, yeah. The Guiana right. Space Center. It's going to medium Earth orbit. Uh, the EC and the ESA are performing the launch. Uh, this is prime contractors for this launch are OHB System and Surrey Satellite Technology Limited. Uh, they are carrying the Galileo FOC M6. And if we want to provide commentary for this, we can, or we can just enjoy the fact that we're going to yeah. watch a space launch live here on <laughs> Desert Bus. Do you want to put I, picture I like in picture? Or? Uh, I think they're getting that up. Okay. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I They're think, gonna come visit us. I think B should be ground control. <laughs> ground I wouldn't control. I would not know how to talk my way through this. Beach. That that doesn't mean that doesn't worry about anything. You just imagine so Derek much. has been put in charge of a space a, a rocket. And we're at uh, we're at T minus one minutes mark. So this is kind of this will be kind of neat. Yeah. Oh, it looks pretty. I oh, love man. watching the SpaceX launches because. Even though I've seen them land multiple times, every time it seems like an impossibility. Yeah, yeah. yeah. actually landing it. Yeah, it yeah. feels like I'm so... watching video in reverse. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's no way you should have been. <laughs> they, want, that. they want Derek to comment. Oh, is this where we? Oh my is no, this no, where we get to start He's taking nice. like cringe and in, in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. See, you guys, you guys saw Graham's like. Entrance was impressive. I'm really excited to see like who's coming out of this rocket to start yeah. their shift. Oh, of course! <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely the best opening. Coming out of low. Best shift change I've seen. Low Earth orbit. Well, medium Earth orbit, orbit anyway. <laughs> yeah. well, up on they're sending up a new, a new driver. Yeah. Uh, Nine, eight, seven, six, six five, five, four, three, two, one. Make rocket go now. Here we go. How do you go? Allumage des UAV et décollage. Yes. Nice. These are unmanned, right? Yeah. 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 This is an unmanned launch. Yes. Somebody in the chat. Serious, right? Somebody in the chat did say that there was supposed to be a, a manned launch, and I don't know if they're kidding or not, because I'm like, I don't know how you have a manned launch nine hours after you do this. That's um, <laughs> And the clouds. <gasps> there it is! Yes. Yes. Yay! Yeah, it's still going. Space is cool. Yeah. How crazy is it that we can just like send stuff into like space? Mm -hmm. Just well, with a bunch of fire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a series of control. Oh, I see. Russia will be launching a crude Soyuz mm. uh, uh, in nine hours. I think China you. just had some people come back. From, yeah, the, like guess or something like that. They had two of their Tygonauts? Yeah, Tygonauts just come back, for, I think, from the space station or something like that. Hmm. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> really far. Alright, the next mission. Oh, that one will be from. Yeah, this is launching our craft services module. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We're just we're just getting ready for the next. This is how we get resupplied. This is not a great angle because it looks like it's crashing. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> Courage, right? Everything's yeah. fine. Nothing's ruined. Yeah. Everything is fine. Don't worry oh, about it. Oh, there we go. There's a computer oh, model. That there was very real and not. Uh, <laughs> this is live if footage. There, yeah. If there is ever. This is being animated that live. Space wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't usually do that. It's a terrible strain on the animator's wrists. <laughs> <laughs> and then the animator had a heart attack and died. And, died. And, died. <laughs> and then the rocket fell from, to, from the sky into the. <laughs> Conspiracy to look at all this country. For those of you just joining us, this is uh, Ariane 5 ES launching four Galileo FOC M6 satellites into medium Earth orbit uh, for the European Commission and the European Space Agency. Yeah, you. Yeah. So, medium oh. Earth, oh. medium orbit satellites would be like weather satellites are low, and then like communication satellites are in geosynchronous orbit, right? Yeah. Yes. 
So what would these be for? Galileo is a European initiative to develop a new global Major satellite navigation system. Oh, really? Under civilian control that will offer guaranteed high precision positioning service and will end Europe's dependence on the American GPS system. So it's like GLONASS, except it will be Europe's. In medium orbit, that's interesting. Get yeah. wrecked, right, GPS. Hmm. Yeah. Because normally you go like you would go full geostationary generally. Oh, that's okay. my understanding. But I, I thought, yeah, because I thought GPS was were in geosynchronous orbits. But uh, I, yeah, I don't know these things. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure how it's. I'm huh. not actually sure how it's done. Not up to it. Uh, the Galileo so constellation. We're sticking it to the man. Oh, they're, they're calling it a constellation. It will comprise a total of 24 operational satellites along with spares, with 14 already orbited by Arian space. Oh, awesome. cool. Uh, Ga Galileo is funded by the European Union. It features innovative technologies developed in Europe for the benefit of all citizens. Hmm. And it's looking, uh, it seems like it is successful so far, and they're probably coming to the point where they, have they done their first stage separation? They yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we saw the boosters go. Okay. Good work, that. Europe. GPS is not geosynchronous. Yeah, okay. Okay. I, I believe it. We are learning. Sorry. I'm not. Boop. So, that is the expectation of what we should be seeing, and yeah, yeah, looks yeah. like that's what we're wah, seeing. Wah, oh, it's fine, wait. The primary wah, buffer wah, panel just fall off my Goram ship. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I didn't need that piece, did I? <laughs> Cut to driver drinking. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying assuming all the it. audio is probably in mm. French. Yeah, I had, a, I had a friend who was doing like a robotics project that he was using GPS for, and I was like, I asked him like I, I had heard because they those satellites need to solve like a bunch of differential equations simultaneously, like approximately, in order to work. And he's like, Oh no no no, they need to do that to stay in the sky. <laughs> then they have to do a bunch of really ridiculous stuff in order to to actually provide any data. And my understanding is too, you can't just put. Like, can't be like, oh, but we'll just put it was our best. We'll put it was deal all along. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't just be like, oh, well, I'll just go down to the corner store and buy like the latest, like even like Intel Xeon, whatever, and so just crunch this stuff. It's like, no, no, we have to vet all this for like years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah, the, well, and like, yeah, the, the GPS satellites are one of the reasons that we have to have super accurate clocks. Yeah. There's someone in chat who is a fan of your boots, Tara. Thank you. I'm, I'm kicking them because that's apparently what you do when someone compliments your boots. Somebody who's watching right now is hearing the audio in English. Uh, I don't care. I like French. It is good. It says choose language at the top. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'm, I'm actually kind of afraid to. I'm going to get off the picture because I'm, I'm currently watching it as well, and I don't need to be watching it. So someone asked what the video in picture picture is. It's just uh, the European Space Agency launched a satellite containing basic, I guess you'd call it, quote unquote, next gen GPS style satellites from them. Uh, for it's supposed to re replace their reliance on the GPS satellites with their own system, cool. and it's going to be cool because space. Space. Space is rad. Yeah. It's funny that we're in that kind of state where it's, uh, it's, it's, it's neat because like uh, somebody else mentioned in the chat that GPS is a technology from the 80s and that if there, if there are other technologies that are floating up there um, that we could be in a position of that, there's just always a constant refresh from different agencies saying now we're going to make the better one, now we're going to make the better one. Hmm. Um, it feels a lot like <laughs> A bunch of disparate agencies not playing nice, but you know there's a very real chance that we could be working towards actually having uh, groups where it's like well, we can't afford to keep replacing it in, in orbit all the time. So what we'll do is, at some point, I mentioned the GPS satellites might just have to come down. Like we got this. We got this round. Yeah, exactly. This round's on us. Exactly. And then they'll you know GPS comes down. Maybe GLONASS say, stays up there a little bit longer, and then they come down too. But then in the meantime, America's already come up with another system to put up in space. Interesting. Say again. Okay. Have we um, have we had our final? Oh, it looks like it looks like from the little graph I'm seeing that we're probably going to get to the point where they do their final separation and then everything takes off. I think at that point we can probably oh, yeah. once they go through their last stage separation, we should probably cut away and come back to the um, come back to what's going on. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah it looks like there's another right, bird. Let's challenges. get some song challenges, other yeah. stuff. Let's get some energy up in here. Oh, yeah. Do some song to sleep at the wheel. And so I will not have that. Under two and a half thousand dollars until 15k shift total. Woo! Woo! Let's make that happen. So, ways you can make that happen. Uh, we've got a donation drive right now for that amazing Mobius Infinity scarf of the Endless Desert Bus Road. Um, donate $8.88 to symbolize infinity, and you will be entered in to win that donation. You can also enter any uh, multiple thereof of that, and I'm sure someone will put that in the chat at some point. Um, you can also submit challenges and that works by saying, hey, I challenge you guys to do this for a blank amount of money, and we'll do it. Or you can say something like, I need you to do this many of blank, or name this many of blank, or answer this amount of questions correctly, and then I'll donate blank for that amount. Funzy things like that. Or if you're just feeling moved and you want to donate for the children, you get really emotional when you see space things, and you're like, that's great, and I want our next generation to be able to do more space things and get better while they're in hospitals and you can donate for that. Donate in honor of I already forgot the name of this one. But Galileo. <laughs> donate in honor of Galileo. Alright. Or maybe challenge me to keep chugging from zero and I'll be able to be more coherent. <laughs> I imagine they probably don't have the cameras on on uh, on that module itself, so we're just gonna we see the animation of it. Obviously, it's moving into orbit at this point. I'm sure. Um, judging from the graph, I guess that means that it's actually moving further away from the Earth. Yeah, it's, it's probably altitude decreasing. Okay. Nice. 